Hello everyone, uh, I'm really happy to be here again uh, another month with our Fair Talk. Uh, I am Domenico Di Siena, I am the community lead at fairbnb.cop. Uh, I hope that uh, at this moment you already know fairbnb.cop, but uh, I would like to remember you that we are um, an alternative platform, a cooperative platform that proposes uh, a vacational uh, rental um, website. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, very soon we can uh, tell you more, uh, more update about the uh, future uh, we are uh, working on uh, on the platform. Uh, any month we uh, host a fair talk with uh, a really interesting uh, guest talking about uh, regenerative tourism, about uh, cooperativism, uh, platforms, and uh, how uh, actually around the world fair uh, focused projects are arising and discovering with uh, the protagonist of this, um, let's say, movement uh, approach, uh, discover how uh, we can uh, learn and uh, collaborate. So uh, today I am with uh, Isabella Ippolito. Uh, so Isabella uh, is a project manager at Legacop Liguria, Italy. She has uh, 15 years experience in project management in the most diverse fields and sector, sectors <laughs> sorry, of activity. Uh, she deals with complex project, open innovation, co-design, uh, advocacy and internationalization for institutions, companies, and trade associations. Um, she holds a master degree in business administration from Korea, Korea University in Seoul. And today she is project manager and head of the project department, international, internationalization, production and services sector for Liga Cop Liguria. Uh, uh, she is part of Cop Platform Course for Italy and part of a European project currently in existence as COP Starter and MICO. I guess uh, Isabella will uh, share more about this uh, project. And uh, so hello, hello Isabella, how are you? Hello, ciao. Ciao. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> we are really glad that you accept our invitation, you are here. And uh, I would like to thank actually Simone that uh, 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 introduce you uh, to this session. Hello, Simone. Simone. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thanks, Simone. So um, you, you want to spend some word about you, your role in February? Um, just... Well, so I thank you for the occasion, especially because uh, networking and sharing, uh, it's uh, something that uh, it's important. I know that in our uh, cooperative world, this is uh, something we always say that it's part of our identity, but uh, act and reality is more powerful than principle. So thank you. Uh, I want to thank uh, Simone and uh, my mentor in the cooperative um, <laughs> community is that it's Pucci, that it's there. Uh, Yes, he's a partner with me in uh, all the activities of uh, Cooperativa di Comunità from the beginning. So I really thank him for the generosity of uh, uh, sharing knowledge and uh, human contacts uh, in this field. So no, I really don't want to speak about myself. I want to go straight to <laughs> our presentation to um, have opportunity maybe later on to hear about uh, thoughts, questions and uh, uh, doubts. So. If it's good for you all, I will share a presentation that it's... Uh... So, do you see the presentation? Not yet. Okay, that, that it's the um, obvious part of all this stuff, especially because we tried before. Yeah, maybe you, you, sh maybe you could share again Maybe something yeah. should be repeated because we did. Yes, yes, we tried and it was working. So, okay. Now, yes, we see your screen. 
<laughs> I hope I'm proud of my screen. <laughs> I was coming to my, yes. So this is how my brain works. So that's it. Okay, so this is the presentation. Is it good for you all? Perfect, perfect. So, Thanks. Um, Cooperative di Comunità. This is obviously the name in Italy. And uh, since this uh, phenomenon is not spread all around the world, and uh, I think that it's really important, uh, especially because the name we gave uh, is related to community to just make you understand the importance of uh, the name. Uh, so uh, let's go straight and see all together some part of everything. So what are those cooperative di comunità that are the reasons why we are here today? So community cooperatives are enterprises, of course, in cooperative uh, shape that produce goods or service of general interest to the community. And uh, they meet the needs of this community and uh, it involves uh, it's the business management decision and the financing. Um, so the reason why the um, Cooperative di Comunità uh, were born uh, in um, 2010 in Italy is because um, the main reason is doing something for the community with the participation of the community through an enterprise uh, in COP. So I think that in this case, we all know what is a cooperative, uh, but uh, we love to share the um, definition that Jacopo Sforzi, uh, that it's an Italian uh, researcher uh, of Eurixe, uh, has uh, made, that it's um, a company that produces goods or services of general interest to the community involving in, in management, financing and governance. Okay. So something that I don't think that uh, spread around the world is uh, obvious is that for chance or maybe for, uh, <laughs> it's not chance, uh, we uh, have um, the cooperative form uh, already recognized in our constitution. So we have a base that it's um, in the legislation that gives us great opportunity, rights and duty. So in our, um, in the 45, in Article 45, 45 of the Constitution, we have, this is the definition, and we have the recognition in uh, the Constitution of the social function that the cooperation has in general. So they recognize in that form, in that article, that the Republic is recognizing the social function of cooperation in a mutual and not profit making capacity. That means that uh, uh, we are, uh, it's not easy as uh, in all the country to try to um, uh, create our ecosystem in a cooperative way, but we have also uh, the constitution that gives us um, tools to um, defend ourselves. In the article uh, 118, we have that uh, state regions and metropolitan cities provinces and municipalities promote the initiative of citizen individuals and association for the performance of activities of general interest on the basis of the principle of subsidiarity. That means that in another article, we have that our uh, activity uh, not only are uh, protected, but uh, it's kind of mandatory for all the governance in all the levels uh, to give opportunity to uh, citizen and, uh, of course, in this case, uh, um, cooperative um, to develop uh, activities that are uh, in general interest for all the community. So the community cooperative model valorize, first of all, um, the active citizenship. That is some, something that we talk about in the few years, in the last years a lot subsidiarity, management of commons, that it's a kind of uh, really interesting, I think, worldwide. But uh, in Italy, if you think about, uh, let's speak about culture, about all the mm, uh, common um, uh, goods that we have that are related to culture and art, um, this is something in where we will see that uh, Le Cooperative di Comunità has a, 
uh, role uh, that it's uh, very important. Then we have solidarity. Physical and territoriality delimited communities, not virtual community. So this is kind of one of the real differences that maybe we can uh, uh, look for uh, with uh, platform cop. So kind of uh, no virtual, but very physical, very related to the territory. And uh, sometimes um, it's all about uh, very practical action as agriculture, working, construction. Uh, territory characterized by vulnerability. So it means that it's a kind of an antivirus that the cooperative world has developed to solve problems and uh, means that, uh, of course, uh, it has more uh, representative power in places where there is more vulnerability. At the beginning, as we, we will see, uh, this movement has been uh, related to the rural area, but we will see how um, quickly uh, and uh, with projects that are worldwide uh, studied right now, also in the urban area, uh, the Cooperative di Comunità has developed um, activities, ecosystem, and um, programs that are um, indeed very important right now, especially, uh, I, I can say, uh, during this crisis, uh, that it's a social, economical before then, um, in my opinion, that uh, sanity. So uh, it, it uh, also uh, give an opportunity to the system to try to, to work together, that uh, in Italy sometimes we have a lot of institutions, a lot of subjects, but then we don't speak to each other. This project, it has his strength on the natural um, characteristic of working together at every level not always easy, but uh, this is really the DNA of this kind of uh, uh, project. Then uh, we can say, of course, that it's um, one of the main strengths is also that uh, gives opportunity to dormant resource that are maybe not used or not anymore used to get uh, uh, another life and we can think about in the rural area, maybe it's um, land that can be um, that can be given to a cooperative community that starts again with agriculture project more than uh, uh, in the city it can be uh, spaces where uh, the community give of opportunity to the community in, in the territory to organize events culture restoration and uh, other things we can see then um, we have to remember that it's not an association it's an enterprise, so it's kind of an hybrid, but we all know, but just to be sure that it's clear, uh, it's an hybrid between an association and um, what we always think about the cooperative world, because it's really related to the association reality that uh, in Italy it's very, very, very developed. We have uh, a lot of association that uh, are not only cultural, but uh, also social and active in all um, the sectors and all, also uh, in, in all the part of the society. Then we have Something that I think that it's very interesting to speak with all of you that are so sensible to the future and present in a responsible way, that it's the new concept of mutuality. So the external mutuality in the Cooperative di Comunità becomes a social subject. And every cooperative is unique and inimitable. Uh, so, as, uh, when uh, at the beginning I was following my colleague uh, Pucci, that it's right there, um, I, I was starting hearing how it, how do you open a cooperative community? How how do you do it? How how, how? and uh, the fact is that uh, there is not only a solution, there is not only a way. The way is uh, understanding the needs of the territory in a very, is a tailor made uh, cooperative on the territory. Okay, so that's uh, kind of trying to define what are the uh, sectors. So, as I was saying before, there is no one only one sector, but uh, few and uh, uh, in um, 
the case where you have the economical uh, sustainability, often there is all of these uh, activity that are developed. So you have tourism and enhancement of cultural, natural heritage and commons, services, support, mobility, assistance, energy production and energy efficiency, which I know that you all are very sensible to, landscape protection and maintenance, and promotion of local uh, production. That uh, is something that is very important uh, for the concept also of maintaining uh, uh, the identity going to the future, but in a sustainable way, because sometimes we forget that in the past, other people as us had to face problems and uh, best practice exists also in the history, not only in projects. <laughs> um, so we start speaking about um, vulnerability of territories. So uh, let's have um, a view in, of the, um, the areas where you have more uh, opportunity to see or to develop um, le cooperative di comunità. Obviously, uh, in Italy, uh, we have a contest that it's uh, defined and it's different from other countries. So um, it's kind of uh, par um, the same almost in all the in all Europe. Uh, we have uh, a great uh, decline of the demographic uh, development um, in small municipalities, but also in urban area. Um, <laughs> the 69% uh, of our municipalities are under 5,000 5, uh, inhabitants, that it's kind of uh, uh, numbers that gave you the dimension it means that 70 percent of the municipalities in italy are made by big, sm small city or big village as you want to <laughs> propose it that has under 5,000 inhabitants and um and what is the problem of this is that uh, with all the pro of the problem that we have the, in the last 20 years of the public resource and uh, the econ global economy, also the services um, in these small municipalities started to, uh, to first of all had problems and then to be erased by the um, government. And that was the scenario. Um, but also in the urban areas, we have the other part of the people that lives in these big cities that uh, were kind of um, not anymore, um, that had no ecosystem anymore and they were, they were uh, really had big problems of having uh, services uh, inside the, um, the community of the big cities. Um, the urban area went uh, uh, through 20 years of um, um, the state was not taking care of, uh, couldn't take care anymore of uh, the public building, the public spaces. It means also uh, public um, parks, uh, the, the squares, all the places where the sociality uh, had the possibility and in a democratic way to, to, to have a possibility to exprime themselves. Um, so, in um, these public spaces uh, in the urban area, and now we speak a lot of, about uh, regeneration of the urban spaces, okay? But before that we started to have this um, program that were recognized, we had this problem in the, um, first of all, in the periphery, uh, in the um, poorest part of the city, but then at a certain point, as you all know, this kind of, uh, problems get into the um, center of the city mm, and it was not anymore possible for anybody to uh, make this invisible. Um, as, uh, as someone told before, I, I, I am uh, in Lega Cop, so I'm, I, I will exprime uh, our point of view um, that it's not the only one. But for Lega Cop, the project has been launched in uh, 2000, between 20, 
2010 and 2012, and um, it start um, in 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 this way. Um, the president that by that time was Giuliano Poletti uh, was uh, in 2010 um, was trying to with all the um, cooperative movement. Uh, trying to um, find solution for the social problems that were popping up the crisis of 2008. And um, what it was uh, sure that already in this age, uh, the model of development that was worldwide going, it was not correct and it was dangerous. And it's fine to hear that. 10 years after, because we have the same problems. And um, I think that the platform COP movement uh, has few issues that are related to these problems. So um, what was happening is that the cooperative di comunità uh, were not uh, recognized, but a lot of cooperative that were in Lega COP in Italy were already cooperative di comunità. So um, groups of uh, citizens, uh, you were starting to unite themselves, trying to solve problems that were from the more simple and basic one. Uh, an example in a small village, having uh, not losing or opening again department store, the, 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 all the sanitary problems, uh, garbage related uh, governance and all the services that were related, but also services that were related to the tourism. So they were trying to not the territory die um, and they, mm, they keep um, this opportunity of uh, having a strength because working together, uh, but then they um, finally the national movement recognize and uh, start uh, pushing on this project uh, with um, COP fund also, and uh, with um, different kind of project uh, uh, the national level started to work to have uh, the legal and normative recognition that it's mandatory to have uh, opportunity. And, uh, and so at the beginning, a uh, few uh, comunità di cooperazione di comunità uh, had the opportunity to be recognized. And then other groups of citizens in other part of um, the nation started to know that this model, that this new model were launched. And so it gets spread. We will see after also, um, we had also, I will not explain too much this part. This is kind of Lega Cop start developing project with budgets to make um, not only the project um, being born, but sustainable. So through escamotage that it's, um, that it's a crowdfunding and a call for startups. If you see in top, um, what it was important it to do, it was to take the responsibility of these groups and uh, teach them or allow them, empower them to have also the skills that are related to management, financial and issue that are sometimes um, left um, far from citizen in the way that they could uh, open cooperative and uh, maintain them and uh, go further. So uh, as we say, as we said at the beginning, uh, the power of uh, the cooperative movement is for sure uh, working together, sharing. Um, but in Cooperative di Comunità, the, this was really um, important. At the beginning already, uh, a lot of subjects, as you can see, and I will tell you what it is because not everybody is Italian and uh, do not mandatory know what it, though these subjects are, um, get into uh, the project. Lega Ambiente, it's the... Um, it's a part uh, of Cooperative Movement that it's related to... Um, uh, to the maintenance of uh, nature, ambience, through sens um, campaigns of sensibilization, education with young, this kind. Then Cittadini di Lanzativa, it was, um, it is an association that it's national and it uh, 
um, regroups uh, the citizen that want to have uh, the opportunity to make the difference, uh, taking responsibility and duty about that. Uh, Borghi Autentici, it's because um, this phenomenon of the crisis, um, demography, the crisis, of course, uh, it was, as we said, not in the urban area. And in the um, rural area, we have uh, these small, fantastic uh, villages that in Italian we called Borghi. And uh, this project is really important in Italy, as we others, and uh, get uh, into um, the Cooperative di Comunità movement and gave promotion of this project and helped a lot to develop the, um, everything, as the others, okay? Uh, but starting uh, already with this uh, power of uh, re uh, network uh, was something that made the difference uh, from the... Um, from, from all the point of view, also, <laughs> also economical. Um, and these are other kind of uh, partnership. Uh, I will share a presentation later if you if you want. But I would love to go um, to talk about the future, uh, not forgetting the present. But so um, the point is, as uh, Poletti was saying in 2010, and uh, what Luzetti is saying, and all the president of Lega Cop is uh, uh, trying to implement the new innovative models. Uh, in the present is that um, um, facing the present and the future, it's uh, it's uh, hard if we want to do it in an ethical way. I, I don't think I have to say anything about the how, uh, year and half that we passed this year. Um, but the emergency that we are uh, experiencing is changing uh, life of everybody. And um, uh, the fragility of the territory and the population has uh, spread and became uh, more evident and it's not finished as we all knew no so the um, the possibilities of the future is to build again 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 and always uh, a post emergency uh, reality and um, that uh, can give um, the opportunity to solve not only economical problems social problems and uh, also problems that are related to the um, not taking care uh, from the public of uh, public goods <laughs> that in, in certain cases is kind of uh, uh, streets, <laughs> streets. So villages maybe are um, trying to survive through cooperative di comunità and all the partnership, but then the street uh, is not financed. Uh, uh, and so those villages are not uh, reachable. And uh, so those kind of cooperatives uh, are trying also to solve those kind of problems. So it's something that it, uh, it's um, not only multi-sectoral but multi-level I would say. So um, what has changed this year is that uh, I think that the realities of uh, salute salute um, the realities of platform co-op and cooperative di comunità I think they touch themselves because of the disruptions of uh, smart working uh, and uh, the fact that uh, all the technology had um, to, um, to reach uh, everybody, uh, even people that were not uh, so happy about that. Uh, and in this case, uh, uh, the, what happened is that uh, people from the big city went to small village where cooperative di comunità were giving services and um, maybe to go there to work for one month, two months, three months, six months. And this has uh, given um, contamination of uh, not only um, economical uh, sustain to cooperative di comunità in the territory, but also um, it has been uh, like an open innovation uh, uh, moment in every little village. And uh, this has um, started. And I think that maybe with Simone, we can see some projects that uh, also in Liguria with Airbnb, they are trying to finance about that. Um, and so 
let's see some uh, community that um, are uh, in all Italy. This is uh, La Comunità Cooperativa di Milpignano. And uh, they were born uh, for one reason, that was um, that the members wanted to give an opportunity to the territory to be able to choose a sustainable, a sustainable energy community. And um, in 2013, the project went further, not only uh, targeting the energy but, uh, community, but also the public water houses. And, um, and then they went up uh, uh, with other kind of project that gave, gave the opportunity to have uh, also uh, spaces where citizens were meeting to see what kind of project uh, they were wanted to, um, to, to develop later on. And uh, today in a village that has uh, 4,000 uh, inhabitants, the members are um, almost 300 and uh, the turnover is uh, kind of um, not bad <laughs> for a project that it's um, uh, that was so innovative and that had the big problems to start and uh, gave the opportunity also of employment to to people to citizen and to to old citizen and new citizen of the place. Uh, as we were saying at the beginning, one other, I will not go into the detail, but uh, one other case is uh, post, uh, uh, this kind of uh, postmodernismo de se, and um, a lot of um, theaters and cinema and uh, kind of those kinds of activity has been um, um, adopted by Cooperativa di Comunità that through their members uh, had the new life um, and the hundreds of uh, citizens contribute with crowdfunding or uh, giving funds and founding them and uh, not only help from the financial point of view but also um, idea of how to develop this project and uh, the hours of work uh, so when you keep alive or you gave an, given um, another life to um, this kind of uh, uh, common goods because they are common goods, what happened is the territory um, pr is producing an antivirus <laughs> to social problems because um, the community get together again, they face problems, maybe they don't, they don't solve it at the first and maybe they don't solve that problem they see another problem that it's uh, nearby and uh, and they find a way and the group go bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, so <laughs> this is uh, one uh, uh, of the most famous cooperative di comunità uh, in the world. It's in, it's in Italy, in uh, Succiso, Valle dei Cavalieri. So it's, it's a place uh, in Italy we would say scordato da Dio, it means like forgotten even by God. Uh, mm, so it's uh, in a village and uh, it was founded in 1991. And uh, when uh, the last bar of this village was um, closed and uh, all the citizens, uh, kind of all on 64 habitants, 56 um, became members and they start again as a human uh, engine <laughs> to give life to the, to the territory. And um, they reopen the bar, they open a restaurant, a farm, a breakfast, uh, and uh, now they are kind of a point of, um, uh, also of uh, education for le cooperative di comunità at a national, international uh, level. And they became uh, an example of um, uh, sustainable tourism uh, worldwide. So what we were saying, I will go in that the project are not only uh, rural, but also urban. This is where I live now, uh, and it's Genova. Uh, in Genova, we have a cooperativa di comunità uh, that it's um, very alive. 
uh, and um, it it is everything is born around this. You can see in the image that it's a uh, Giardini Luzzati. It was it's a space in the center, the historical center of Genova, where of course there was a lot of social issue. Uh, there were problem of um, poverty, drug, and uh, not. Um, Integra real integration of the immigrant population, uh, services for citizens that were not existent. And uh, it was kind of those places where tourists were never being suggested to go, for example. <laughs> and so even citizens of the city were not going there. So what happened is uh, that um, La Cooperative, the Cooperativa Cesto with other realities, they when they they get the management of this space and they create an ecosystem that it's growing and growing day by day. And they inside that space that it's um, an, a real example of uh, urban regeneration. They do, of course, you have a bar, but it's not the problem or it's not the issue, but you have uh, activities for kids, music, uh, the most important, um, it's one of the place where the culture is uh, not uh, having spaces, but it's uh, created in Genova, in Liguria, and I have to say in Italy too. So uh, they become uh, a trendsetter of Cooperative di Comunità in Italy because uh, they grow very fast. And they also developed, in my opinion, a great um, capacity of uh, <laughs> empowering themselves. They start also to participate to um, Bandi Europei, to, so they start following also projects that were led by the European Commission, and they start winning them, uh, they continue winning them, and uh, in the battles also about regeneration in a part of a city that it's so full of trouble, uh, that has given also the power of that for them. Uh, to go to battle also maybe sometimes with municipalities because they all the people that were living in that part of the city were melting into the project and so the community grow grow, grow and is still growing with of course this uh, not uh, uh, it's not everything is easy but an example during uh, the covid um, lockdown that we had in italy they never closed they try every legal way to make that uh, space that you see that it's called Giardini Luzzati um, alive. So um, respecting the rules. And so it was one of the only place in, um, in Genova where the social moment were uh, possible um, in a democratic way and also in a um, genuine way. People could go there without anything that was organized maybe, but just to have a relation with People. And that was something that Giardini Luzzati was uh, truly trying to continue and also during the lockdown. Of, of course, uh, with uh, all the um, related law about COVID uh, to follow. Uh, so um, this, this cooperativa, um, Tralci di Vite, um, was born in another kind of uh, way together with the municipalities, because it depends. We said before that it's uh, every Cooperativa di Comunità is uh, unique, and also the reason and the way they developed is unique. So in this, in this case, uh, this Cooperativa collect small municipalities uh, that was uh, in risk of uh, depopulation and um, promoting policies of repopulation and regeneration through um, also the reception of mig migrants and the young people in the place. You imagine this is a big topic, very big topic. But in that case, the network, the institutional network had gave them the good shape, the good tools uh, to reach the goal altogether. So this is the official and uh, close presentation. Uh, I, would, I would love to add also um, a 
presentation of the project uh, MECO, uh, that it's um, in closure. We, we're going to end the event uh, next week, and you're invited. It's traduced in English, <laughs> now in French, actually. Uh, the 30th uh, of uh, June, uh, we have the closure event of this European project that it's uh, uh, that sees uh, Lega Cop Liguria and Lega Cop Sardinia as partners uh, with the, um, uh, the, the leading partners is um, the Università di Genova. And we have as partners uh, regions and um, innovation hub <coughs> and also our cousins, cousins of cooperation in uh, France. This project is very important because um, it, it, it has gave the opportunity to have um, a project in which try to obtain um, best practice to follow in, in, and resource to finance this. Uh, the objective of this project were demonstrate how the Cooperativa di Comunità wa is and was, because by that time it was not so recognized, an in innovative way uh, to uh, to give the opportunity uh, to face uh, uh, problems of the population uh, of um, lacking of work and services on the territory, but in a in a, in a way that was sustainable from the old point of view. Um, by that period, so mm, you can see we have also a site. So all the materials that has been uh, productive is related to, I, I will make you an example. Um, <laughs> how do a cooperative uh, the comunità uh, can be, uh, can start? Kind of in three ways, then I will close. The first way is uh, kind of my partner Pucci that goes uh, with uh, Lega Cop, um, sent it by our president uh, Rossi to knock at the door of a municipality to say, hi, you know, we have a solution to all your problems. So sometimes they open, uh, the door opens, sometimes not. Uh, if, it op if, it, if it doesn't open, uh, that's okay. If it opens, um, we uh, as Lega Cop give our, our uh, tools uh, to organize uh, events uh, with the population to explain what is a cooperative di comunità, what are the sectors, and uh, in that territory, how the opportunity can be lead. The other way, the second uh, uh, case is that um, citizens come to knock at the, our doors, and uh, so we have responsibility to help them to manage uh, the um, all kind of issue that they have to have birth. That means uh, legal, uh, bureaucracy, all the levels that has to be uh, faced. Um, and then also uh, to, to get into the network that we, I was talking you at the beginning. So, and, and the third one is um, institution with uh, citizen together that it's a kind of the most uh, uh, shining uh, <laughs> and uh, easy uh, case in which um, institution and citizen uh, come together. Uh, and so we all can work easier and uh, quicker to find solution. So this is a kind of a representation. Um, and uh, so maybe it's interesting to go. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks Isabella. Um, I think we have a lot of inputs to start a conversation. So I have some comment, but uh, first I would like to remember all the people that are um, participating uh, to this session that you can post uh, on the chat box your, your question and your thoughts. So this way we can facilitate the conversation. So we can see with the, the time we have left, we can habilitate an interesting conversation. So um, then I guess also Simone maybe has uh, some question, but I would like to highlight something that uh, I really loved. So this idea that uh, uh, community-based um, cooperatives are uh, enabling a territorial system. I, I really like this uh, because it uh, offers um, 
a simple um, scenario where we can understand that uh, entrepreneurship, uh, solving big problems alone, or um, this other idea that the community uh, with their um, own uh, will, uh, only because they are together, <laughs> they can solve better uh, problems. So this in between, I really love, and, and of course, this idea that is really connected uh, with territory. So this is, uh, idea that uh, yeah, community working in their own territory. So, because it's also some points uh, that is useful to create this dialogue between uh, co platform cooperative like Airbnb because we work in territory, but we are also a global and digital community. So it's interesting how we can create this uh, conversation with the community, um, community based um, cooperatives. And to finish, also, I really love this, uh, uh, this idea that uh, each, each community based cooperative is unique. So this is, this is territory. So each territory is unique. So we have also pass the, the word to Simone uh, and also the, the people that are here. Um, you can hear me properly, more or less. Yes, at the moment, yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay, maybe add some uh, disconnection. So my, my question is, so Simone, then I let you also uh, make some uh, question and we, we want to um, listen also from, from people on the chat. So talking about this uh, connection between Domenico, talking about this committee, si, si and then, then, uh, we lost you. I thought the Italian uh, sounded a lot different, but. <laughs> Simone, point. maybe maybe you can you can go ahead with some question. Yes, yes, for sure. But I would like to, to leave the word to all the participants. We have uh, uh, 20 people around here, and uh, well, I already know uh, the experience of uh, the uh, Cooperative di Comunità. That's the reason why we invited uh, Isabella and Allegra Cop to our fair talk. I'm the coordinator of uh, fairbnb.cop uh, in, uh, in Liguria, and uh, well, fairbnb.cop is a uh, community based to tourism, community power tourism, and uh, what in Liguria is um, our communities are expressing are, uh, this kind of uh, new uh, form of uh, enterprise, of organization that is uh, powering our communities, uh, giving the opportunity to, uh, to create jobs and to have uh, sustainable development. As for BAB.com, we choose to, to support uh, at least a couple of projects from the our local uh, uh, community cooperative. Uh, there's a project in the eastern side of the 
the region uh, about sustainable development, uh, the project of, of the Cooperativa di Comunità Terre del Magra that is recovering vast biomass from rivers and uh, beaches and transforming them in uh, renewable energy and uh, natural fertilizer and is a uh, an important project for uh, our region because uh, it's uh, a project about the um, territory management and uh, that want to create jobs as well. There's another project in the western side of the region that is going to create um, an accessible tourism uh, path in the nature and uh, again uh, is promoted by a uh, cooperativa di comunità Terre di Nava and uh, these are the experiences that are really important for for our region and that's the reason why we are going to support them and finance them through tourism and uh, but uh, I think that I know uh, starting from the presentation made by Isabella and uh, starting from the uh, my knowledge uh, here in Italy that uh, not only in Liguria there are experiences like that and uh, what I would like to know we are a global uh, platform and um, if it is possible to replicate this uh, experience also in uh, other countries and because uh, here in Italy, as uh, Isabella was explaining, uh, the, the importance of the cooperatives is stated in the constitution uh, is not the same in other countries. So uh, I would like to ask first, uh, if there are experiences like that in other countries, uh, if it is possible to replicate them. So, um... Vado? Bye, bye. Um, yes, yeah. yes, there are kind of those kind of experience uh, in other country um, that are based on uh, different kind of system that it's national. But uh, one thing that it's common, it's why they are, uh, why are developing this model worldwide as the platform COP uh, movement. And uh, something I was thinking, you know, like Domenico, is not only that territories are uh, unique, person are unique, and the yes. yes. Uh, so uh, first of that, so the territory is unique, and each person is unique. And in the case of cooperativa di comunità, every single, as in every cooperative, but in this case, it matched so much. Uh, every person make the shape that it's obviously unique because of the community so yes yes I the, identity, you well. the concept of identity that it's uh, one of the um, i think the most important thing in the cooperative di comunità is something that in the platform cop co movement uh, it's a big issue so those are an example something that it's connected because platform cop in the example that simone made have the this kind of sensibility that it's uh, that it's the same of cooperative di comunità <laughs> and in this case platform cop de decided the, the, the territory um, part of fair bnb decided to finance a project that is on the territories that is a cooperative di comunità so what we are all all what we are kind of trying to understand is how do you match le cooperative di comunità community-based cooperative with the platform cops. How do they match? Um, and um, uh, in Italiano we say come butta terra. It's just like a, a, it's um, an electric system. You have to connect it, okay? Uh, I think we can connect it all together. So uh, as I was saying with uh, Dominic and Simone, if you have thoughts that has to be built, or questions, we will be there also tomorrow and after tomorrow. And so um, that's why we, we meet each other to, to build relation, to build uh, ecosystem, to build uh, thoughts and to give consciousness and to give inputs. So Heira, I saw Heira. Do you know where Heira came from? Yeah, we have, uh, we have partners from worldwide that are connected uh, that we, we know and that um, uh, give a uh, lot of help in sharing experience. So um, I, I think that we have to think a little bit uh, about uh, how Platform Cop uh, can uh, be 
can relate, can have a relation with Cooperative di Comunità in one sense or in other, or uh, I think that it's important. Yes, I hope we can work more and more on this. So this, yes. this session. One thing I yeah. want to say, with the project MECO, one thing that we have uh, produced as outputs, as the EU, EU Commission has asked, is action plans and methods and documents that helps the um, citizen to build the um, uh, Cooperative di Comunità. That's the same, something, some of these parts, I have to say that could work probably tailor-made a little bit on Platform Cop. And if we can share our experience of uh, the Cooperative di Comunità experience uh, very uh, quickly with you, I think uh, that we can gain some time and losing uh, less experience um, and solve more needs. Yes, um, this remind me another. <laughs> ah, we have uh, we have a question, so I, I will let uh, my opinion now aside. And uh, Ale, I don't know if you want to make the question yourself. So I so, give the word. Ale, thank you, thank you for sharing your question. And uh, the question is: uh, legal frameworks for cooperatives and access to funds in South in South America makes things much difficult but great to reinforce hope in community-based project. Yes, uh, totally found it's a big issue, even though we all know that if it was only for funds, cooperative would not uh, be the first choice. So when we have those moments of difficulties, we know that we are not doing that for, and that's why cooperative and community is very, um, we have uh, we in this period a lot of people talk about resilience and the people get allergic to that term. I'm not because um, it's a term which is important. So I, uh, even if everybody is using it now, from my point of view, I'm happy about that. It means that it, it has uh, uh, broke the wall. So that's okay. But uh, um, cooperative di comunità are always ready to reinvent themselves. Uh, on the new needs and uh, new problems or new participants. And um, this is kind of uh, very important because it's so quick, it's so rapid, even in the business model, that uh, even if the uh, funds are not uh, direct from uh, subjects, they try, uh, they, they find ways to, uh, maintain, to, to make it sustainable also from the economical point of view. Ali, if you have other uh, comments, uh, feel free to, to do it. Now, this is also actually connected with my other thoughts, um, which is actually how we can uh, break the barrier we have um, with the idea that generally we have with the companies, enterprises, the cooperatives. So this, this um, I mean, to, to start a new company, or a cooperative, for um, some people, uh, the difficulty is more uh, about what they don't know about this, um, this structure. So how we can uh, you know, solve this problem, how we can create more awareness about different forms of uh, enterprises, uh, so also other forms to, to get funded. Yes, I think that... Um, communication and events like that and all what you are doing and all of us are doing are very important, especially when you have uh, the cooperative that comes to talk to you, like uh, not uh, Isabella Polito talking about the real life for someone else, but the people that are living that life that tells you what they're doing. So they can tell you and you can read it on your, their skin, uh, the life that went through the history of growing and uh, build that project and then give birth to it. You understand that works a lot, um, but um, in the second uh, part, I think that uh, as uh, we were saying before, as a resilience, I think the sustainability and all those kinds of terms that for other is kind of uh, come like ethic washing, green washing for the cooperative movement is uh, identity, history, and the future. I hope future too, and so uh, we 
I, from my point of view, we have to define our identity and then go very um, proud and uh, courageous also, also to talk to private funds. I mean, there's no problem of uh, try to propose, not try, try in the sense of uh, to propose our model to everybody, because uh, if not, as always, what they will do, they will keep our project and our model, and uh, they will make them from their principles. They are not the same. So the natural and force of this project will be not maintained. Bye, Jonathan. Thank you. Yeah, so, so um, there is this uh, common, uh, um, common understanding that uh, when you uh, touch money, you get, uh, you know, dirty. Uh, so, I mean, cooperatives in general are, you know, facing this and I think they are bringing already something really uh, powerful. So now that we are approaching this idea to local communities, uh, so to also follow your suggestion, you know, this idea that uh, to understand the model, you need to meet people and talk with people about uh, how this is real. Uh, and you also mentioned that um, uh, we can do that without uh, following in this idea of greenwashing or social washing. But my concern is anyway, uh, there is a sort of common understanding that, that when, when you are telling something uh, different, you are creating uh, a sort of uh, adoption, uh, adoption um, talk, you know, just to, to get new people on board on something that is already defined, you know? So there is, uh, and, and this actually is something that is uh, building already, uh, still, sorry, still building, something that is not really, you know, uh, established. So even the definition is something that we reached uh, recently. So there is also this problem, how we face something that is a work in progress, <laughs> avoiding, uh, you know, the washing uh, approach. It's growing, it's growing because uh, it's following the present through the future. So it's kind of physiological that it's growing and uh, evolving because it's following the reality. And so <laughs> <laughs> just, Sometimes it's just to not be sure in the in bad sense, but uh, to be proud of the ethical and identity that uh, we, we choose. So uh, this is our shape. Okay, so let's meet the, the devil, which is in the details <laughs> and build. <laughs> yes. We know a lot about this with Fabian B. Cobb, so we have a lot of great ideas and approaches, fair, you know, fair attitude. But then you know that when you go uh, to get it real, there are a lot of devils there that you, are, you, you have to face. Yes. But uh, um, one thing is to be active or passive in this situation. So waiting, it's not, I don't think uh, it's a good way. It's just, you have to face them, so let's do it before. Yeah, let's 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 see if the, the generation that are coming. So you talked also a lot about education and learning, etc. Uh, so uh, how how we can uh, speak to this new generation about well, this if you project? Think if you think in, I mean, the rural area or in the big city, all the kids that get to the territory, seeing all those activities are taking in an empathic way those kind of principles, okay? So it's also about that the responsibility that you have. It's like very big when you do, do those kinds of projects because the impact and the responsibility, because the impact is not only about the members and who you choose to, but it's all in all the community and you choose for them actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I remember. Um, so the idea of this uh, this talk is to start uh, a conversation, and uh, we will hope when we will publish the the recorded uh, video, 
we can continue the, the conversation and uh, maybe hopefully, hopefully having a second <laughs> and more session with you and other people maybe you can suggest. Yes, I will give the, the contacts uh, of also Paolo Scaramuccia, that it's our national uh, responsible of uh, Cooperativa di Comunità, which was uh, happy about this uh, moment. And uh, all of us are kind of available. Even if you want to come visit, uh, maybe uh, Fabian can organize <laughs> <laughs> a trip through Cooperativa di Comunità and uh, so Platform Coop and Cooperative can meet physically. We are all yeah. persons, that, that, that's it's what we were saying at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, actually I, about this, uh, this, um, this idea. So I was saying that the, the territory are unique because it's true that people also are unique, but people could uh, be member of different communities. Yeah. But you know, a territory is unique, it's one territory. Uh, so people uh, with digital sphere, we can be uh, as unique, but part of different uh, different uh, community, and this is good. So this, and maybe there, there is the connection between the two different kind of approach, and we are we are trying to promote uh, uh, this connection. Uh, so yeah, let's see let's see if we are able to to do that. Um, especially, I am confident uh, that the new generation are really aware and uh, you know um, concerned about this um, so yeah so for instance i don't know i, I was saying before uh, the session that i was living in, in argentina and uh, i felt there uh, a huge uh, awareness about regenerative development regenerative you know uh, economy uh, so and I don't know yet if uh, there is similar, you know, st uh, strength and uh, power uh, attention here in Italy or Spain. But so far, I didn't felt the same. So I hope soon we can have also this energy, because in Argentina was amazing. I mean, uh, a lot of people I met were really concerned about this regenerative approach. And uh, so with Airbnb, we are promoting uh, this idea of being regenerative. So uh, I, I think, hope... Uh, I think uh, that in autumn, uh, um, we will have a lot of social issue in, and um, worldwide. And I think that um, we, we have responsibility to be ready to try to be part of the solution. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so maybe maybe it's a good moment to have a second <laughs> second round. So thanks uh, thanks a lot, uh, Isabella, Simone. I don't know if you have a last uh, some last comment. Well, or... Just uh, just to thank you, Isabella and uh, Lega Cop Liguria for their participation, but for their uh, work here in our territory and uh, for the importance uh, of uh, what they are doing. Uh, uh, empowering our community. We are trying to use tourism as well to empower uh, our community. We are community powered tourism and we'll try to use tourism just to give strength to uh, the experience, the most relevant experience in uh, our region. And uh, I think that uh, well, our um, platform cooperative is just a, a place where uh, real people, uh, real communities can, uh, can have uh, place where to connect with others uh, and uh, to grow together. So thanks. Thanks, Isabella. Uh, uh, I really enjoyed your energy and passion. I guess also the, <laughs> the attendees. So uh, I, um, uh, I think that the people that will be watching the recording session will enjoy uh, as well. So thanks a lot. Uh, next month, uh, another session, another guest. You will know really soon uh, the topic and the, the guest. And if you have any suggestion, let us know by our uh, social media channel. And see you soon. Thanks. Thanks, Isabella. Thank you. And please keep in touch. We keep in touch Ciao. and we continue the conversation. Ciao. Grazie.